Julian Assange, the man behind WikiLeaks, has profoundly impacted global freedom of thought and press, challenging the status quo and sparking a global dialogue on transparency and government accountability. An Australian editor, publisher, and activist, Assange's actions have reverberated far beyond his home country, influencing public perception and government policy across continents. Assange founded WikiLeaks in 2006, a platform that would soon become a thorn in the side of governments worldwide. Through WikiLeaks, Assange published classified documents, unearthing hidden truths and exposing covert operations. His actions were seen by many as a bold stand for freedom of press, but equally, they were viewed as a threat to national security by others. This dichotomy has defined Assange's career, casting him as both a champion for transparency and a provocateur in the eyes of the global community. The impact of Assange's work has been monumental, sparking debates that span across the realms of journalism, diplomacy, and law. His relentless pursuit of transparency has compelled us to scrutinize our understanding of press freedom, challenging the boundaries between the public's right to know and the necessity of state secrets. Assange's influence extends beyond the realm of journalism. His actions have ignited dialogue on the role of the press in holding governments accountable. This has led to a re-evaluation of the balance between government transparency and national security, a debate that continues to rage on in courtrooms, newsrooms, and living rooms worldwide. Assange's work has also highlighted the power of the digital age in disseminating information. WikiLeaks, as a virtual platform, has demonstrated the immense potential of the internet in challenging traditional power structures. This has prompted governments, journalists, and citizens to grapple with the implications of this new digital frontier. A man of mystery, controversy, and undeniable influence, Julian Assange has forever altered the landscape of journalism and international politics. To understand the enigma that is Assange, we must journey back to his roots, to the early life that shaped this influential figure. Born in Townsville, Queensland, Australia, Julian Assange's life was anything but ordinary from the start. His mother, a visual artist, and his father, an anti-war activist, undoubtedly influenced his early perspectives. However, it was his exposure to computers and technology that would come to define his life's path. As a teenager, Assange discovered the world of hacking. Under the handle Mendax, he and two other friends formed a hacking group called the International Subversives. Their aim was not to cause harm, but to explore and expose the hidden structures of the digital world. In the late 80s, at the tender age of 16, Assange's hacking prowess led him to break into the networks of some of the world's most powerful organizations. This included NASA and the U.S. Department of Defense. However, these audacious exploits did not go unnoticed. In 1991, Assange was discovered and charged with 31 counts of hacking and related crimes in Australia. Yet this brush with the law did not deter Assange. Instead, it served to further ignite his passion for computer programming and the world of information. He began to see the immense power and potential that lay in the digital realm. His interests evolved from simple hacking to a deeper understanding of the role of information in society. Assange spent the next several years immersed in academia. He studied programming, mathematics, and physics at several universities in Australia. Although he did not complete a degree, these years of study further sharpened his understanding of the digital world. In 2006, Assange took a leap that would change his life and the world forever. Drawing on his skills and experiences, he created WikiLeaks, a platform dedicated to the free and unfiltered dissemination of information. With WikiLeaks, Assange aimed to create a safe space for whistleblowers. He believed in the public's right to know, in transparency and accountability. This was a direct reflection of his early hacking ethos, the pursuit of truth and transparency, even if it meant challenging powerful entities. These early experiences not only shaped Assange's skills, but also his worldview, laying the foundation for the creation of WikiLeaks. In 2006, a platform was born that would change the world's approach to information WikiLeaks. A brainchild of Julian Assange, WikiLeaks was intended to be a conduit for whistleblowers, a safe space where they could expose corruption, injustice, and the hidden workings of power without fear of retribution. Assange was no stranger to the world of hacking and information leaks. His early life was punctuated by his involvement in these activities, but WikiLeaks was a new kind of endeavor. It wasn't just about exposing individual instances of corruption, it was about pulling back the curtain on the systems of power that govern our world and making that information accessible to everyone. The aim was to promote transparency and accountability in governments and corporations worldwide, 
as Assange believed that the public had a right to be informed about the activities carried out in their name or against their interests. WikiLeaks was designed to ensure that the truth, however uncomfortable, could not be hidden. And it didn't take long for WikiLeaks to gain international attention. Its early operations were marked by the release of significant documents that shook the foundations of governments and corporations. One of the most notable of these was the release in 2010 of classified U.S. military documents. This leak, which included footage of a U.S. helicopter attack in Baghdad that killed several civilians, including two Reuters journalists, sent shockwaves around the world. But the Baghdad video was just the start. WikiLeaks went on to release hundreds of thousands of classified documents revealing the inner workings of the U.S. military and diplomatic corps. The impact was profound. Policies were questioned, officials were embarrassed, and the world was given an unprecedented look at the realities of war and diplomacy. This was not without its controversies, of course. While some lauded Assange as a champion of transparency and accountability, others saw him as a threat to national security. But whether you see him as a hero or a villain, there's no denying the impact of his work. WikiLeaks became a force that governments and corporations had to reckon with. It disrupted the status quo, challenging the conventional norms of information control and distribution. It brought the dark corners of power into the light, igniting discussions about transparency, accountability, and the public's right to know. WikiLeaks was quickly making waves, propelling Assange into the global spotlight. It was a platform born out of a desire to shift the balance of power, to put information back into the hands of the people. And in doing so, it changed the world's approach to information forever. With the spotlight came scrutiny and soon Assange found himself embroiled in a web of controversies and legal challenges. As the founder of WikiLeaks, Assange has been a figure of interest and concern for many governments worldwide. His work, while celebrated by many as a paradigm shift in journalism and transparency, has also been seen as a threat to national security by others. The legal challenges he faced began to mount, and their complexity mirrored the multifaceted nature of the issues at stake. One of the earliest legal challenges Assange faced was an arrest warrant from Sweden. Allegations of sexual offenses led to his being sought by Swedish authorities. In an attempt to avoid extradition to Sweden, Assange sought and was granted asylum in the Ecuadorian embassy in London in 2012. Although the sexual offense allegations were later dropped, Assange remained in the embassy for seven years. His asylum was abruptly revoked in 2019, and he was arrested shortly thereafter. But his troubles were far from over. The United States government had also taken a keen interest in Assange's activities. He was indicted on 17 additional charges under the Espionage Act, all related to his publishing activities. The charges carried a potential maximum sentence of 170 years. The indictment raised several questions about press freedom and the use of the Espionage Act against publishers. Assange's legal team argued that his risk of suicide was high due to his mental health issues and that he would face harsh treatment if extradited to the United States. Assange's case has sparked heated debates around the world. Critics argue that the charges against him are politically motivated, an attempt to silence him and set a precedent for the prosecution of other journalists and whistleblowers. Supporters, on the other hand, believe Assange's actions were necessary to shed light on government secrets and protect the public's right to know. Meanwhile, the Australian government, Assange's home country, has also been pulled into the fray. While some argue that the Australian government should intervene on Assange's behalf, the government has largely remained silent on the issue. The controversies surrounding Assange are as complex and multifaceted as the man himself. His story serves as a stark reminder of the delicate balance between national security and freedom of the press, and the lengths to which some governments will go to protect their secrets. As the legal battles continue, one thing is certain, the world will be watching. Today, Julian Assange remains a figure of intense debate and a symbol of the fight for press freedom. He's currently held in a UK prison, his future uncertain as he faces an ongoing extradition case to the United States. This case, as it unfolds, is about more than just one man. It's about the very essence of press freedom and the potential implications for future journalism. Assange's ongoing struggle is a reflection of a larger battle, one that questions the boundaries of journalistic freedom and the lengths to which governments will go to protect their secrets. At the heart of this struggle lies the Espionage Act, a piece of legislation that the US government has invoked to charge Assange with 17 counts of espionage. If extradited and found guilty, 
this could result in a maximum sentence of 170 years. Assange's legal team, however, has argued that his extradition to the United States could be detrimental to his mental health. Despite assurances from the U.S. government that they will take measures to mitigate risks and ensure fair treatment, concerns persist over the severity of the charges and the possible conditions of his imprisonment. But the implications of this case go beyond Assange's personal fate. This ongoing legal battle has sparked worldwide debates about the nature of journalism itself. Should journalists have the right to publish classified information, especially if it reveals government wrongdoing? And if so, where is the line drawn between national security and public interest? Assange's case has also raised questions about the treatment of whistleblowers. If journalists can be prosecuted for publishing leaked documents, what protections exist for those who expose corruption, abuse, or other forms of misconduct? The global community has been divided on these issues. Some argue that Assange is a hero, a champion of free speech who risked his life to bring the truth to light. Others see him as a criminal, a hacker who endangered national security by leaking classified information. Regardless of where one stands on this issue, it's clear that the outcome of this case could set a precedent for future journalists and whistleblowers. Assange's struggle is far from over. His mental health continues to deteriorate as he awaits the decision on his extradition. His future hangs in the balance with potential implications not only for his life but also for the future of press freedom. The saga of Julian Assange is far from over, as the world watches to see how this modern-day David vs. Goliath story unfolds. Regardless of the outcome, the legacy of Julian Assange is undeniable. These words echo across the globe as we grapple with the enduring impact of a man who has, for better or worse, redefined the landscape of journalism in the digital age. Julian Assange's brainchild WikiLeaks has thrust the concept of transparency into the limelight, setting a precedent for how information is shared and consumed in our interconnected world. The vast troves of classified documents leaked through WikiLeaks have peeled back the curtain on the inner workings of governments, corporations, and institutions. These leaks have sparked countless conversations about corruption, inequity, and power dynamics, forcing us to question the world we thought we knew. Yet, Assange's legacy is not without controversy. To some, he is a hero, a champion of truth and transparency. These supporters applaud his courage in exposing the shady dealings of those in power. They view him as a beacon of free speech, a symbol of resistance against a system that often prioritizes secrecy over transparency. But to others, Julian Assange is a menace, a threat to national security. Critics argue that his indiscriminate leaking of classified information has put countless lives at risk disrupted diplomatic relations, and undermined the very institutions that uphold our societies. They view Assange not as a journalist, but as an activist with a reckless disregard for the potential fallout of his actions. This dichotomy of opinion encapsulates the complexity of Assange's legacy. It's a testament to his impact that he can be simultaneously viewed as a hero and a villain, a liberator, and a disruptor. It's a reflection of the polarizing nature of his work, which has forever changed the dynamics of journalism and information sharing. Assange's legacy also extends beyond WikiLeaks. His ongoing legal battle has raised critical questions about press freedom and the rights of journalists. The use of the Espionage Act against Assange has sent shockwaves through the journalistic community, with many fearing that it could set a dangerous precedent for future prosecutions of journalists. The debate over Assange's extradition to the United States, where he faces potential life imprisonment, further underscores the high stakes at play. It's a battle that transcends Assange as an individual, touching on fundamental issues such as the right to a fair trial, the treatment of prisoners, and the potential criminalization of journalistic activities. In many ways, Assange's story serves as a litmus test for our commitment to press freedom and transparency. Whether we view him as a hero or a villain, we cannot deny the profound impact he has had on our world. Julian Assange, a man who has left an indelible mark on our world, continues to be a figure of fascination and contention. As we continue to grapple with his legacy, one thing is clear. The story of Julian Assange is far from over. As we contemplate the future, we can't help but wonder, what does the journey of Julian Assange mean for the future of WikiLeaks and global press freedom? There are no crystal balls in journalism, yet the case of Julian Assange provides a profound glimpse into the potential scenarios that could shape the future of WikiLeaks and press freedom worldwide. As we dive into this complex matter, we must consider the implications for other whistleblowers and journalists, 
as well as the role of government transparency in a democratic society. The ongoing struggle of Julian Assange raises a pivotal question. If a publisher can be persecuted for releasing classified information that exposes government wrongdoings, what does this mean for other journalists and whistleblowers who dare to do the same? Will they too be hounded and prosecuted, their lives turned upside down? In a world where transparency is increasingly vital, the repercussions of Assange's case could very well set a new precedent. If Assange is extradited and found guilty under the Espionage Act, it could send a chilling message to journalists worldwide, potentially deterring investigative reporting and stifling the free press. But let's consider another scenario. Suppose Assange's case sparks a global outcry, leading to a re-evaluation of laws regarding press freedom and whistleblowing. In this case, his struggle could catalyze a global movement for greater transparency and accountability, strengthening the role of the free press as a watchdog of the powerful. As for WikiLeaks, its future remains uncertain. Under the shadow of Assange's legal battles, will it continue to be a platform for whistleblowers to expose the truth, or will it be stifled, its operations hindered by a climate of fear and legal repercussions? Regardless of the outcomes, the saga of Julian Assange has already had a profound impact on the landscape of journalism and press freedom. It has sparked a global conversation about the nature of transparency, the role of journalists as truth-tellers, and the lengths to which governments may go to protect their secrets. The future of WikiLeaks and press freedom will likely be shaped by the decisions we make today. If we value transparency and accountability, then we must stand up for those who risk everything to expose the truth. If we believe in the power of a free press, then we must resist attempts to silence journalists and whistleblowers. The case of Julian Assange is not just about one man. It is about the fate of press freedom in our digital age, the right to know, and the courage to speak truth to power. It is about the kind of world we want to live in and the kind of journalism we want to see. As the story of Julian Assange continues to unfold, so too does the narrative of press freedom and transparency in our rapidly evolving digital world. The story of Julian Assange is a testament to the power of information, the importance of transparency, and the enduring struggle for press freedom. This is a narrative that intertwines with the very essence of journalism, the right to know and the courage to question authority. In assessing Assange's impact, we must not forget that he is a man who has been relentlessly pursued by one of the world's superpowers for over a decade. His story serves as a stark reminder of the lengths to which governments may go to silence dissent and the immense personal cost that can come with standing up for transparency. But beyond the individual, the case of Julian Assange raises broader, more unsettling questions about the future of press freedom. His prosecution under the Espionage Act, a law designed for spies, not publishers, threatens to set a dangerous precedent. If such charges can be leveled against Assange, they could potentially be used against any journalist who dares to publish inconvenient truths. Assange's story is far from over. He continues to fight extradition and the potential of a sentence that could see him spend the rest of his life in prison. Regardless of where one stands on Assange the man, the implications of his case for journalism, freedom of speech and the public's right to know are profound. As we follow the ongoing struggle of Julian Assange, we are reminded of the critical role of independent journalism in holding power to account. It is a reminder that the fight for press freedom is far from over and that the stakes are higher than ever. Join us again as we continue to delve into the fascinating stories that shape our history. Don't forget to subscribe to the History Facts YouTube channel for more insightful videos like this one.